Hello and good evening everyone. I am Gautam Sori and I welcome you all on Cafe IPL on Sports Wiki. Well, this is the D-Day. This is the finale of Indian Premier League season 2018 to be played between Chennai Super Kings and Sunrisers Hyderabad at the Vankhede Stadium in Mumbai. To talk about the toss and about the changes that have happened so far, I am joined by Tahir Ibn Manzoor and Akhil Gupta. And for those who are wondering what all happened at the toss time, I must tell you that it is Chennai Super Kings led by Mahindra Singh Dhoni. They have won the toss and the side would be bowling first at the Vankhede Stadium in Mumbai in this big daddy game. This is the finale of Indian Premier League season 2018. Well, as far as changes in both these sides are concerned, K uh, uh, Kane Williamson, Les Sunrises Hyderabad, they have made a couple of changes. Riddhim Sa, who played the last game, is injured and Shivas Goswami has made his way back to the ring. While uh, uh, the other change is that Khalil Ahmed is out and Sandeep Sharma, the other fast bowler who has roped into the playing 11. As far as changes in Chennai Super Kings is concerned, they have made just a solitary change. Harbhajan Singh, the veteran of spinner, has been out and it's Karan Sharma, the leg spinner, who has made his way back into the playing level for this big finale against Sunrisers Hyderabad. Tahir, speaking of this big finale, did you expect a change and if Karan Sharma has made it in place of Harbhajan Singh, what could be the reasoning behind this? See, I was expecting a change also in the Chennai lineup. We have already discussed about Harbhajan Singh who has who, has, uh, who didn't uh, leave an impact like we have already seen him. He is capable of picking wickets and containing the batsman, but this season he didn't come that good like uh, we have already witnessed in the previous editions for Mumbai Indians. He has uh, delivered uh, the, uh, the punch above his weight like uh, he is a senior campaigner and he knows how to deliver and contain the batsman, pick wickets to put pressure on the opposition. On the other side, we have already seen Karan Sharma, like he has got the limited opportunities but has left them impact so that might be the reason and uh, play, having played less match so uh, that sort of a comment coming in might play a trick for uh, CSK in this uh, big match. Well surely knowing that Karan Sharma didn't play many matches and he could be the X factor for the Yellow Brigade Mahendra Singh Dhoni might have roped him into the playing 11 for this big game against Sunrises Hyderabad. Akhil, if I talk Sunrises Hyderabad ke changes, ki baat karun, Khalil ka bahar jana thoda sa obvious ho gaya tha Sandeep Sharma kyunki ek proven performer hai IPL ki history mein aaj unko rope in kara gaya Shivas Goswami ka wapas aana kitna bada boost ho sakta hai Hyderabad ke liye uh, Gautam uh, Hyderabad ke liye mujhe lag bhi raha tha ki shayad aaj Khalil Ahmed ko aaj bahar ka rasta dikhaya jayega Sandeep Sharma ki wapasi dekhne ko milegi aur aisa dekhne ko mila bhi uh, Sahar Riddhiman Sahar jo injured hue hain unki thodi uh, khabar sunke acha nahi laga lekin Shivas Goswami ko mauka mila hai unhone perform karke diya hai pichle kuch matchon ki agar main baat karu open mein unhone acche run banaye the आज भी अगर उनको मौका मिलता है ओपनिंग करने का तो मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ वो अच्छी पारी खेलेंगे वहीं संदीप शर्मा के पास गौतम अनुभव है संदीप शर्मा पहले पंजाब के लिए खेलते आए हैं इस सीजन में भी उन्होंने हैदराबाद के लिए अच्छा गेंदबाजी किया है ग्यारह विकेट उनके खाते में तो शायद मनोबल उनका थोड़ा ऊँचा रहेगा फाइनल खेल रहे हैं तो संदीप शर्मा के साथ जाना अंतिम ग्यारह में मैं इस फैसले को सही मानता हूँ Well, Sandeep Sharma has made his back to the playing 11 for Sunrisers Hyderabad and Akhil says that this was always on the card knowing that Khalil, he just played a single match of Indian Premier League that was the qualifier and knowing that he didn't have an experience under his belt. So I think that is the very reason the Kane Williamson has dropped him for this game. This is the big game for those who have joined me a bit later. I must tell you the toss had happened at the Vankade Stadium in Mumbai and it is Mahindra Singh Dhoni led Chennai Super Kings who had won the toss and the side would be fielding first. Knowing what happened in the qualifier one against the same opposition, Chennai Super Kings won't be taking too many chances as of now. Uh, Tahir, they would like to make amends, obviously. They would not want to repeat the same mistakes. Do you expect things to go differently in this game or do you expect Sunrisers Hyderabad bowlers to take charge once again? See, uh, if we talk about Sunrisers Hyderabad bowling uh, department, they have done uh, uh, their role, they have done the bulk of job in this season and this is uh, why they are just, uh, they have just made to the uh, grand finale of the 2018. So, uh, talking about their batting lineup that has uh, made amends in between and like we already discussed about middle order uh, uh, woes, they, come, uh, they have come good in bits and pieces but overall it has been a good performance from the Sunrisers point of uh, part and uh, on the other side we have already seen Chennai Super Kings has been dominating against a side uh, which has topped the uh, league, uh, uh, league table. So if we talk about Chennai Super Kings, they are having the advantage in this game. We have already seen they have won three matches against, uh, against a side which has quality bowling lineup but uh, they have uh, somewhat faltered in the batting department overall. Uh, both the teams have had made the amends like we already discussed about the weakness and strength of both the teams so it is expected to be an enticing clash between both the teams and at this iconic venue. 
well definitely at this very iconic venue at the Vankhede Stadium in Mumbai two of the most successful teams in this year of Indian Premier League Chennai Super Kings and Sunrisers Hyderabad they would be squaring off against each other for the big finale of season 11 I must tell you Sunrisers Hyderabad they had won the IPL in 2016 when they defeated Royal Challengers Bangalore at their home in M. Chennai Swami Stadium where Chennai Super Kings have been the most successful side in the history of Indian Premier League this is the seventh time the Yellow Brigade have made their uh, have made their uh, way into the finals of the IPL two times they have won they have lost four successive IPL this is something Chennai fans would not want to hear as of now uh, Akhil agar main team ki baat karu Manish Pandey ki absence humne pichle match mein baat kari thi kaisi feeling hogi ye ki aap jante hain aap India ke player hain teen char saal se Indian team mein bhi khel rahe hain IPL aapka itna kharaab jata hai ki aap main mukablo se pehle bahar ho jate hain aur IPL ka final tak nahi khel pate Gautam is khiladi ke zehen mein ye baat chal rahi hogi kyunki अगर हम इनका आईपीएल पी ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड उठा के देखें काफ़ी दमदार रिकॉर्ड रहा है चाहे वो बेंगलोर के लिए हो पुणे वॉरियर्स इंडिया के लिए हो या फिर कोलकाता नाइट राइडर्स के लिए हो के को दो आईपीएल जिताने में मनीष पांडे का बहुत बड़ा योगदान रहा था ये सीजन कुछ अच्छा नहीं रहा गौतम लेकिन ऐसा भी नहीं है कि उन्होंने बिल्कुल परफॉर्म नहीं किया है बीच की अगर हम मैचेस को उठा के देखें तो तीन चार उनके अर्शों तक नजर आएंगे लेकिन आ, कमी कहाँ रह गई कमी यहाँ पे रह गई क्योंकि मिडिल ऑर्डर ने बिल्कुल भी परफॉर्मेंस नहीं किया मिडिल ऑर्डर में मनीष पांडे भी खेलते हैं तो उनकी वो परफॉर्मेंस नजर नहीं आई कंसिस्टेंसी अगर उनकी लगातार वो रन बनाते तो शायद वो आलोचना का शिकार ना होते लेकिन क्वालिफायर टू में बाहर होना फाइनल में उनको जंगाना मिलना एक खिलाड़ी के दिमाग में बिल्कुल ये चीज़ चलती रहती है कि इतने बड़े मैचेस में आके इतना मेरा बड़ा नाम है इंडिया के लिए मैं खेलता आया हूँ हाल ही में भी इंडिया के लिए जो आलास सीरीज इंडिया ने खेली है उसका भी वो हिस्सा थे वो इन निर्णायक मैचों में ना होना वाकई में खिलाड़ी के मनोबल को गिरा सकता है आ, मैं यही आशा करूँगा कि अभी तो इन चीज़ों के बारे में ना सोचें इतना बड़ा मैच होने वाला है उसको उसको मद्देनज़र रखें उसको ध्यान में रखें और दीपक हुड्डा जिनको मौका मिला इतनी बड़ी अपॉर्चुनिटी उनको मिली है उसको ग्रैब करें उसका फ़ायदा उठाएँ क्योंकि हाल ही में निदास ट्रॉफी में वो टीम इंडिया का हिस्सा थे आने वाले समय में भी अगर वो अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस करते हैं आज के मैच में भी अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस करते हैं तो शायद उनके लिए भी इंडियन टीम का टिकट उनको भी मिल सकता है well definitely we can expect a lot of these performers to make their way into the indian team in times to come now since we talked about manish pande and his form there have been someone who have been roaring in with the runs on the board i guess i'm talking about kane williamson the captain of sunrisers hyderabad who's having the orange cap on his head now since we have talked about this i would want all my viewers to have a look at the purple cap holder and the orange cap holder of ipl season 2018 as mentioned Kane Williams in the New Zealand and Sun Rises Hyderabad skipper with 680 plus runs is having the orange cap on his head and he's just a few runs away from making the total to 700 this is a massive number in the Indian Premier League apart from Virat Kohli's 973 in 2016 season this has to be the second most highest run scorer in the history of this Indian Premier League talking about the purple cap Andrew Tai of Australia who played for Kings 11 Punjab he is someone who had the purple cap on his head for quite a while he had 24 wickets to his name but that is not enough Rashid Khan the Afghanistan spinner and the prime player in the Sun Rises Hyderabad side who is just three wickets shy from having the purple cap on his head would just try to play his straight so well enough to make sure that he is ending this tournament on a high uh, since Tahir I have made the rhyming shy and high quite well would Rashid Khan be rhyming with the same performance against Chennai again I uh, see he has been a revelation for sunrisers had about the way he has bowled has been tremendous like uh, he has uh, picked wickets and uh, not only picked wickets but the way he has contained the batsman that has been as uh, uh, remarkable for on his side like uh, young his young 19 year old the way uh, he has been bowling in his top notch batters has been uh, really a great sign for him and afghanistan in particular the, uh, like uh, we have already seen the cricket back uh, home in afghanistan in a war torn country isn't that much like uh, but uh, on the other side we already seen youngsters coming up ra uh, rising against the tide we already seen mujib mujibur rahman for king selvan punjab did he did wonders picked wickets and uh, bamboozled the batsmen so you talking about rashid khan he has been a great uh, prospect for Ra sunrisers hyderabad in the last previous uh, in the 2006 in if you talk about the previous edition he he was uh, at his best so uh, in this game he is going to be a ex expected for sunrisers hyderabad like uh, he can pick wickets and put uh, uh, chennai super kings on the back foot they are already one three games against the side so they, he would like to take a revenge in this game well surely i must tell you three times both these sides had fared in ipl 2018 and on all three occasion it was the yellow brigade who prevailed over the orange army and well at this very moment on this very stage well the orange army would be hoping to get the revenge and would like to seal the win with a high uh, 
अखिल अगर मैं चेन्नई सुपर किंग्स की बात करूं फाफ टू प्लिसी ने कितनी बेहतरीन परफॉर्मेंस दी थी पिछले मैच में आप नहीं देखते उनको नंबर चार पे आज खेलते हो राइट को ऊपर खेलते हो या शायद महेंद्र सिंह धोनी उसी सेटअप के साथ उसी प्लेइंग इलेवन के साथ उसी फॉर्मेट में जाएंगे आज गौतम हमने क्वालिफायर वन में क्या देखा था सरप्राइजिंग uh, था सैम बिलिंग्स की जगह फाफ डुप्लेसिस का आना और एंड में फाफ डुप्लेसिस ने ही टीम को मैच जिता के दिया ओपन करते हुए नजर आए रायडू नंबर चार खेले uh, थोड़ा अनफॉर्चुनेटली लगा कि वो क्लीन बोल्ड हो गए थे पहले ही गेंद पे बिना खाता खोले आउट हो गए थे रायडू लेकिन अगर मैं उनके रिकॉर्ड पर जाऊँ गौतम तो नंबर चार पे सीजन में रायडू ने दो से अधिक रन बनाए हैं ओपनिंग करते हुए उन्होंने तीन रन बनाए हैं नंबर चार पर भी करीब करीब दो के रन हैं तो मैं तो यही चाहूँगा उसी सेटअप के साथ महेंद्र सिंह धोनी आज के मैच में उतरें बड़ा फाइनल है बड़ा मैच है तो कोई कॉम्बिनेशन में बदलाव मैं बिल्कुल नहीं देखना चाहूँगा फाफ टू प्लेसिस को नंबर चार पे खिलाने का मैं कोई मतलब मानता नहीं क्योंकि आ, अच्छे खिलाड़ी हैं जो वो काम ओपन पे करके दे सकते हैं वो नंबर चार पे आप अपेक्षा नहीं कर सकते मैं चाहूँगा कि ओपन जो है फाफ डू प्लेसिस और शेन वॉटसन करें और अम्बती रायडू जिनका परफॉर्मेंस काफ़ी अच्छा रहा है और मुंबई इंडियंस के लिए खेले थे बीते सीजन्स में हमको ये भूलना नहीं होगा वॉन के मैदान पर खेल चुके हैं ये उनका पुराना घरेलू मैदान रह चुका है तो उनका नंबर चार पे खेलना मुझे थोड़ा फायदेमंद लगता है आज के मैच में वेल अखिल से इज दैट महेंद्र सिंह धोनी इज वेरी अनलाइकली टू मेक अ चेंज टू द बैटिंग ऑर्डर फाफ टू प्लेस यू वॉज हीरो फॉर चेन्नई सुपर किंग्स इन द लास्ट गेम अगेंस्ट एंड वर्सेज हैदराबाद ही इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू ओपन द इनिंग्स अलॉन्ग साइड चेन वॉटसन एंड अम्बाती राइट हुज बीन देयर बेस्ट बैट्समैन सो फार इन दिस सीजन ऑफ इंडियन प्रीमियर लीग Well, since he is a versatile batsman, he can score runs up the order. He can hit those balls down the order as well. So, Mahendra Singh Dhoni might not be risking him by asking him to bat up the order and duplicity at the number four. I think it would be duplicity at the top and Raidu at number four. Uh, Tahir, since we talked about Raidu and duplicities about changing their order, could we see a string of surprise in the name of Deepak Chahar just getting uh, a, a twist? And he has been asked to just go up the order and give those slots. And Mahendra Singh Dhoni would be going the conventional way. Uh, well i don't think uh, so that he would be uh, like uh, there would be spring uh, uh, they would spring the surprise in the form of deepak chahar to uh, to be promoted up the order like he has the ability to hit the ball long and we already seen him uh, uh, in the domestic format as well but uh, in this uh, uh, all important clash he would uh, like to make uh, he would like to tinker with this uh, lineup and we already seen Uh, Mohinder Singh Dhoni has been among runs. He has scored 393 runs. Uh, he has led his team from the front and number the right at the top. We already seen Shane Watson and in the previous uh, match uh, Duplessis cricket. Uh, so it would be interesting to see how things would go on. But I don't think there would so that there would be many changes in the uh, batting lineup in particular. गौतम इस सवाल से मुझे ना 2011 का फाइनल याद आ जाता है कि आप 275 चेस करने जा रहे थे श्रीलंका के खिलाफ युवराज सिंह बैटिंग ऑर्डर में थे लेकिन धोनी ने सिचुएशन को समझा खुद बल्लेबाजी करने आए फॉर्म में नहीं थे नाबाद रहे इक्यानवे रन बनाकर देश को वर्ल्ड कप जिताया आज भी कुछ ऐसी सिचुएशन देखने को मिल सकती है वनखेड़े के मैदान पर मैच है चेन्नई को चेज करना है और सिचुएशन क्या कहती है सिचुएशन ये कहती है कि परिस्थिति क्या रहेंगी आपको कितना रन चेस करने को मिलेगा अगर कुछ ऐसी सिचुएशन आती है तो मुझे लग रहा है कि धोनी खुद आज बैटिंग ऑर्डर में ऊपर आ सकते हैं क्योंकि अनुभव उनके पास है पहले भी वो कई बार ऐसा काम कर चुके हैं तो दीपक चेहर की वजह अगर धोनी खुद ऊपर आते हैं तो सरप्राइजिंग में बिल्कुल सरप्राइज नहीं होगा वेल फोगेट दीपक चार गेटिंग चांस टू बैट आपती ऑर्डर रखिल से इज दैट इट कुड बी द कैप्टन कोल महेंद्र सिंह धोनी टू माई जस्ट प्रमोट हिम सेल्फ आपती ऑर्डर लाइक ही डेड वे बैक इन ट्वेंटी इलेवन एंड हेल्थ इंडिया बीट श्रीलंका एंड द फाइनल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कप So I think it could be Mahendra Singh Dhoni's turn this time round. Someone who had nearly scored 400 runs has been having a good season so far with the bat. 350 so far he has scored in this season. So I think he would be up with the confidence as always, as expected. And Tahir and Akhil feels the same that it could be Mahendra Singh Dhoni who might just promote himself up the order and say that okay, guys, this is my turn. I've been waiting down the order for a lot of years. So I think I would be coming up and helping my side beat Sunrise Hyderabad at One Kerala Stadium in Mumbai tonight. For all my fans who have been wondering about the toss, I must tell you the toss had happened a while back, and it was Chennai Super Kings who had won the toss. They would be fielding first against Sunrise Hyderabad. There have been a couple of changes in uh, Kane Williams and Les Sunrise Hyderabad. Khalil, <coughs> the fast bowler, the left-arm fast bowler who played the last game against Kolkata Knight Riders, has been dropped, and it's Sandeep Sharma. the right arm medium fast bowler who has replaced him apart from that rhythm and sahada wicket keeper is injured and it's trivas goswami who has replaced him into the playing 11 as far as changes in 
Chennai Super Kings are concerned. It is Karan Sharma, the leg spinner, who has replaced the veteran off spinner Harbhajan Singh for this very game, which will be starting at 7 p.m. at the Vankhede Stadium in Mumbai. Now, since we have talked about strengths and weaknesses, since, since we have talked about both the sides and the captains, now before we end up this discussion, I would want both of them to answer the most difficult question perhaps in 60 days we have had so far. Who would be winning this IPL 2018? Both these sides have been so successful so far. One was at the number one position. Chennai Super Kings followed them at number two before the playoffs begin. So it, it is something, a great side to watch. And I would like to start my questioning with Tahir. This is the big game. This is the daddy game. Something we have been waiting for two months now. The show is getting over tonight. Who do you think win and why so? Well, indeed, it's a difficult question to uh, like answer. We already witnessed uh, their high uh, teams have sprung surprises. And uh, in this uh, uh, all-important clash, the two teams are fighting against each other. They have played their best, best games in the past to make it to the uh, at the big stage. So uh, having seen both the lineups and the, the way they have performed, uh, like uh, Chennai has the advantage in this game. But uh, on the other side, Sunrise Hyderabad could come heavy on the side but uh, I would like to go with Chennai like uh, Dhoni is there he's at the, he has been scoring runs he knows how to, uh, things would go on how to utilize his, uh, utilize things like he has won the toss and this, they are going to uh, ball first so talking about this scenario I would go with Chennai Super Kings but uh, we, uh, we I won't be surprised if uh, Sunrise Hyderabad would like uh, clinch this trophy. Tahir won't be surprised if Sunrises Hyderabad goes on to beat Chennai Super Kings but eventually he says that it would be the Yellow Brigade after so much of experience on their back, after having so much of players who have played IPL, who have played so much of international cricket, this would be something which would give them an extra advantage over Hyderabad side who will be facing off each other in the big finale. The match is happening at the 7pm and it would take place at the Vankhede Stadium in Mumbai. For Tahir he says that it would be the Yellow Brigade who might just prevail in the end. Akhil, they to Chennai. Keh diya. और दूसरी टीम हैदराबादी बचती है आप क्या उनका साथ देंगे आप या आप भी मानते हैं कि शायद आज चेन्नई ही जीतेगा गौतम सवाल काफी गंभीर है इस सवाल को लेकर दिल और दिमाग के बीच मेरे काफी जद्दोजहद चल रही है एक जंग चल रही है मेरा दिमाग कह रहा है कि चेन्नई जीतेगी लेकिन दिल कह रहा है वो दिल जो है वो ऑरेंज आर्मी को सपोर्ट कर रहा है हैदराबाद को सपोर्ट कर रहा है और अब तो ताहिर जी ने खुद चेन्नई को विजेता बना दिया है तो मुझे हैदराबाद को जिताना ही पड़ेगा लेकिन वो तो मगर मैं खुद की प्रिडिक्शन करूं मेरी जो प्रिडिक्शन है आ, मैं आज क्रिकेट को सपोर्ट करने वाला हूं बीते उनसठ मुकाबलों में 59 जो मैच खेले गए हैं हमने इस टीम को जिताया है कभी इस टीम को प्रेडिक्ट किया है आज ये टीम जीतने वाली है आज मैं चाहता हूं मैं क्रिकेट जीते पूरा 40 ओवर का खेल देखने को मिले रोमांचक मुकाबला देखने को मिले और अंत में जो टीम कम गलतियाँ करेगी वही टीम खिताब जीतने में सफल रहेगी तो चेन्नई या हैदराबाद कहना मेरे लिए बहुत मुश्किल है दिमाग की मैं सुनता हूँ तो चेन्नई जीत रहा है दिल की सुनता हूँ तो हैदराबाद जीत रहा है तो मेरे लिए तो आज क्रिकेट जीत रहा है तो किसी एक टीम का नाम लेना मेरे लिए बहुत मुश्किल है well surely i would like to thank you both tahir and akhil for being with us on cafe ipl on sports wiki tahir says that chennai super kings are the favorite to beat sun versus hyderabad while akhil has closely escaped this matter and says that he is not going to answer this well if you ask me obviously i'm not going to answer i have to be neutral over here and may the best team wins the may the team who performs better who who makes less mistakes would go on to prevail the other side in the finale of indian premier league season 2018 for those who have joined right now it was Chennai Super Kings who had won the toss. They would be bowling first. The only change they made is that Harbhajan Singh is out and Karan Sharma is in. For Sun vs Hyderabad, Khalil Ahmed and Rhythm Ansar out. And it's Trevor Goswami and Sandeep Sharma who would be playing the tonight's game. The match will be starting in a very short while. I would like to thank them both. And for all those who have stuck with us so far on Cafe IPL, I would like to thank you all for all the support, for all the questions, for all the answers we have got so far. And we would keep joining you. And we would be backing up uh, quite soon over this all over again. For now, uh, well, we hope to see a 40-over fantastic cricket match which would begin at 7 p.m. at the Bankhede Stadium in Mumbai. Until then, hope the best team wins and we all hope for the same as well. Thank you so much for being with us on Cappy IPL on Sports Picade.